Woo! Wee, what's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie Beer all day. I'm excited. Whoa, we got a fixed blade. And it's not just a fixed blade. It's a beautiful fixed blade. And it is Andre de Villa's beautiful. I know it's a little dim in here right now, but we're going to go outside and test this thing. And we got some sunshine. So look at this frag pattern grip on this blade. It's like stabbing with a grenade. This thing is is pretty badass. It's a dagger. It reminds me very much of a uh, like a little mini Gladius dagger. I just absolutely freaking love it. Um, this right here, it's called the ring dagger. It's the Brutus ring dagger. This one's in D2. There's another one in, I think it's S35 in or S30, somewhere in there. Um, but the D2 is very, very, makes very good, capable D2. You have um, your uh, on and off the belt is just a push button away. So you don't actually have to take your belt apart or off to get the knife on and off. You can adjust it to different angles, put it in different ways you want. Um, it is ambidextrous, although it doesn't really matter because it's a double-edged blade. The entire thing is ambidextrous, so when you get it, you can leave it just as it sits. Um, but, oh, and one thing, aside from all the lashing holes, it does have a drainage hole as well, in case you find yourself chest deep in some water, and you need to let that water get out of the sheath. This thing is so beautiful. This is... A beautiful, beautiful dagger. You can see that it is partial, um, partial serrated, uh, serrations, and it just it, where he chooses to not blacken compared to where he chooses to blacken, it makes this thing look so tough. It is so freaking beautiful. You have a double fuller going into this arrowhead. Um, it takes the, the black off the bottom just for separation of color. You have a double guard that you can choke up on. Right now, my pinky is sitting inside this ring, my thumb here. So if for some reason you needed to carve with this, if this was the only knife you happen to have on you and you needed to survive, okay, you can make that grip. But let's, let's get it straight. This is, this is not that knife. This is a self-defense fighting knife. This is a, um, a a battle knife. I have so much trouble in my right hand. Let's see. Oh, it hurts my thumb on my left. But, wow. Oh, that really hurts. Um, damn. Can't wait for this to heal up, if ever. Uh, but this is a, a straight up bop, 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 get in and out, save your own life defense tool. But because it's partially serrated, it's also made to be a cutting tool. So we're going to do a lot of bit of both so let's go out there and check it out it would have been really nice if i gave you the quick specifications so the blade length is five and a half inches the cutting edge is five and a quarter inches the handle length is five and a half wonderful inches uh the overall makes it 11 inches the blade material on this is d2 um the blade thickness is 0 0.190 you can get a good idea on how very nice and thick that is right there you can see how thick it is um and let's see it is a double-edged dagger with a flat grind um it is a black dura coat the handle is sa uh 14v titanium uh the handle thickness is 0.72 inches the sheath is kydex with tech lock it is 9.4 ounces with the sheath it is 13 designed by andre himself and made in shop this thing's awesome now let's take it outside all right we can get it out in the sunshine so you guys can get a really good look at this thing that's a really really cool looking knife it is a really cool looking knife and it is solid solid as a rock it really is this thing is so freaking nice all right, so clearly this isn't your um, your general task EDC. This is your self-defense knife. So we're going to do a different kind of review on this. Let's see. I can't, can't do that. You got, got boots on. You guys won't be able to see. I do want to see the overall sharpness. I want to see how this thing is because, oh, my gosh, every knife I've tested from him, 
oh, I just touched the serrations, is um, crazy razor sharp. <laughs> crazy, I just touched the serrations. You gotta be kidding me. Crazy razor sharp. This is a double-edged dagger. Double-edged daggers don't need, look at, look at I, I even got a little blood there. This thing is a freaking edge. Let me stop that and we'll keep on going, hold on. So I can't do, I cannot do a better job of <laughs> explaining, describing, or showing how sharp an item is than literally, I just did this. I picked it up and I did this and I put my finger, which I do on all my other blades, flat on an edge, like if I put it on a flat edge, you're generally not gonna cut yourself. I tapped like that on this serration and it dug right into my finger. There's no better, you know, commercial you can make for something that says this product does what it's supposed to do than that. That's just incredible. It's incredible. So a lot of people are going to wonder how the tang is. Um, some people thought that it was like just a little tiny stick tang that like was partial and glued in there, but it's not. It's actually... The tang comes around and follows through and then stops almost at the end and screws on with a little hex right there. So no, this is not a partial tang. It does go all the way through. It screws on and this thing is super freaking solid. Um, let's do, I'm so impressed with, with how I cut myself. I mean, I shouldn't be impressed, but I literally turned it into this. That's cut worthy. That is insane. And the only reason I had to touch it is because with my my hand messed up, um, my grip changes for everything. So <laughs> that was impressive. That was impressive. All right, let's do some uh, four foot gravity drops and we'll see how that bite goes. <laughs> that hits pretty solid. Let's do that again. I mean, that hits solid. That's a thud. Do, um, Wow, you can actually see it's about a half inch of depth. So let's do a couple hard downward throws. Do my right hand first. Bam, that was solid. So that actually went past the tip of the arrowhead. Do my left hand. Bam. You've got to be kidding. I could tell you, but it's better to show you. It's almost covered the entire arrowhead. Look at that. That is almost touching. The fullers. Ugh. If you want to know how far that is, that's there. That was huge. So, um, so it hits with uh, it hits with good good force, good impact. I, I touched the side of the blade, not the tip, and cut myself. I'm blown away. I'm blown away. All right, so let's try um, just try a couple things that you don't use this knife for, but we will see. Oh my gosh! All right, so. I just said this is not what you use this knife for, but I'll tell you what, if uh, if I get stranded in a flood zone or somewhere where I'm gonna need to camp overnight and I'm gonna need to get some kind of fire going, those right there are beautiful. That's a double-edged dagger, right? That I use the serrations on, so now I wanna use the flat part. It's easier to, to do that with the serrations because it's choked up. So I'm going to move back a little bit, use the flat, and almost touch the serrations again, and get the same type of curls. Um, it's less leveraged, so they're smaller, but you can see it's still working, and it is working flawlessly. Um, th this, this thing is just really, really nice. Ah, my thumb sticks out straight. Ah, hit it. Oh, you know what we can try? Let's try some light fluff. Okay, so this this is this can be a fire making dagger. Um, that ah, that is really really nice, and I'll show you what we're getting here. I don't know if you can all see it, but you see all this little brown stuff right there. This is how we get fires made right there stuff like that is just prime igniter um really really good so 
I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed right away because I didn't expect, you know, the double-edged dagger. I didn't expect to have the same kind of uh, the same kind of care into the edge work as his folders because those are EDCs. They're made to be doing that. This is not. Let's see. I want to get to the just the edge and get a nice cut here. It's hard when you hit the serrations. Just freaking sharp. Just sharp. I know it was just cardboard, but I already proved that it will go through skin quite easily. Quite easily. Let's see here. Let's see here. Wow. A double-edged dagger. Made for one purpose. These are made for stabbing. That's what these are made for. This thing isn't going to be just a stabber. This is going to be a slasher. This is going to be a cutter. Man, I'll tell you what. You could take down a stake with this thing. I guarantee it. So, what we need to do is... Well, we need to throw it into something and throw it a little more into something. Oh, I do have a styrofoam box over here. Let's see if we can get some low throws. Like, if we're talking about critter throws. Like, in your camp, you're walking around and you got a critter. And you're thinking, man, I better get that critter. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can't hit that first. Hold on. Down there. All right, I got to adjust my, my... Oh, my God, dude. Oh, I can't. I don't know if I can do that with my thumb. I was going to try to throw it from the blade, but I don't think I can. All right, so I don't know what distance I'm going to be at here. <laughs> That's my first throw with this thing. And it sunk in really nice. So think about it. If you're talking about if you're talking about at camp and you got a critter problem, man, that was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. Um, that was that was actually in there. Ugh. I know you hear it. Oh man, that was in there. So, so camp critters. I think I think you might be okay. I think you might be okay. Let's uh, let's get over here. All right, again, I'm gonna try with my left hand. I just don't. I gotta get the distance first. <laughs> All right, well, let me mark my spot there with my toes. I think I might have the distance. Ugh. Oh man, it's all dead leaves. I don't know where to do, I don't know where my mark went. All right, well, let's just uh, do it again. Bam, that was a little too far, I think. Still stuck, but that was right at the cusp. Let's try that again. Oh, I hit that one flat. I hit that one flat. It's, it's hard not having a good mark. You just have to guess, especially when you can't use your thumb. Oh, I'm off. I'm off. But if you're wondering about, hey, man, is this knife strong? Well, I mean, that was two solid hits. Ways you don't want to have two solid hits. All right. I should just use my right hand. Oh, that is there. I can't get an even throw because the hand is wrong. All right, let's try this. <laughs> well, I don't know if you guys actually seen that one, but it hit blade in right here. The problem is that's a big crevice. All right, I gotta get this, uh, I gotta get the spot figured out. Oh, that was there, baby. All right, so trying to throw right-handed is is obviously not benefiting me um because i'm a left-handed person bam right there all right let's see i gotta see if i can try and make a mark all right let's try it out again let's try it out again with my right hand i can actually go from the blade and those fullers make a huge difference oh my gosh I'm throwing it like a sissy with my right hand throwing it like a little sissy Oh, that was there. That was there. I cannot wait to get my left hand back because I throw. 
I love throwing. And I am just not a thrower with my right hand. Is it going to work eventually? Yeah, sure, it'll work eventually. But that's not what I do. All right, so, you know, what we need to do is... Now, I, and again... And, of course, it just hit the button because I'm one-handed. Um, I don't have my tripods with me, so... Um, I have this plastic bag hanging. And I just want to hit it with a couple slashes. Wow. So... I actually got away from the jab, backed up, and came back, and um, it was awesome, just on target. I mean, if you're the bad guy and you come at me, that's what you're seeing. So let's try closed grip with a hook, boom, and I just caught here. That is just devastating. That is just devastating. Um, as far as a fighting knife, and I know it's it's an empty plastic bag, but it was there. <laughs> it was dangling, so we're going to hit it. Um, let's see. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> it's just like shrinky dink. Bam. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fighting knife well now you know it'll totally go through a, a finger bone i mean that'll go through a finger bone i i would love to do some some batoning with it but uh i don't know if i'd be able to hammer on it because it's double-edged and you know when i say that that means we're gonna hammer on it even though it's double-edged so let's go do that all right i think i have a piece that'll do That'll do, donkey. So let's get get lined up there. Try to hold the baton in my left hand, which I have not been doing. It's time. All right, that was through a knot. That was through a knot. Let's see. Bam! That is nice. Let's go across through a nice hard piece here. I'm chewing up my baton for sure. But the good thing about batons is they're free. So, I don't know. I'm telling you, that this thing is, um, this thing is super, super. Let's see here. Oh, I went upwards again. I can't line my thumb up, but we're going to try that anyway. There we go. I just used my finger. Just used my finger. This thing is solid. So... Oh, you could, you could see that. Um, I mean, it's right there. It is right there, ready to go. That, I mean, you're going to be really, really quick with this knife. I could use use my finger to pull it out um, and be A-OK. -okay. This thing is super, super cool. I wish I had all the dexterity in my fingers so I could really play and and do some some trick twirling but can't because i can't get my thumb out of the way i'll just cut the tip off but um super badass this is andre de villas man this is adv tactical this is the brutus ring dagger it is badass man this thing is so super cool so super cool so i'm gonna put a link to his actual website remember you can um, get him on instagram you can get him on um facebook and all you got to do is tell them what you want. You'll get it. It's that easy. So that's it for this one. Hi, I'm Donnie B. All Day. Till next knife.